a little. <clears throat> well, today I'm gonna teach you how to make a pulse limiter, which is good for like using a button or a lever for a very timed thing. Like it times it like a shit. You know, you know how you have like the button stays on forever. Like this is a normal button timing, but with the pulse limiter you can make it really short. Or if you wanted to, you can make it even a little bit longer. You can make this almost as long as you want it to go, or as long as the button length with the adding another repeater, I think. Or even with the lever. If you don't let anybody press it more than once, or they don't leave it on long enough, or they leave it on too long, this is what this is good for. All it is, it's like a little 4x4, four four, but actually 6. 2x6. Two six. It's not very hard to make, but I'll show you how to make it. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Not very hard to make. Has tons of uses. You need these two right here, and you need to move this one clip back, or else it won't work. Cause it'll, it'll both go off at the same time. Just said. Yep, that's pretty much how you make it. The way it works is if you you can send a pulse through. one block, but it needs to either have a repeater right here, or a repeater right here. It just needs a, like something to put it through, it won't do it just by redstone. That's pretty much it, thanks for watching.